Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Sitting here a real funny comic, Sean Donnelly. He'll be at Stand Up New York taping a half an hour. What day? The 23rd. 23rd. At 10 p.m. Yeah. Of November. Of November, yes. Yeah. Saturday night. Okay. Real quick call here. Michael is listening on an app in Philadelphia. Oh. What's up, Michael? Hey, Art. I just want to say it was a nice meeting you two weeks ago in Philly on Friday. Um, I finally got to meet you. I finally got to meet my hero. It was a great moment. And uh, you remember I gave you the Reggie Jackson card, the tasty yeah. cake, and the devil dog? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I still have one of them. I ate the other two things. <laughs> okay, okay. I know you got diabetes. You signed, you signed my card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah what, well, you know he has diabetes. What made you decide to give him the tasty cake and devil dog? <laughs> Because he wants his heroes to be dead. I'm a big fan, John. You're a big <laughs> fan. You want him to die? <laughs> no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I ate the Reggie Jackson card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that... Yo, you remember you saw my friend's cigarettes, though, with Pack and Newport? I did. I did. Uh, I, I, outside Philadelphia is the only place you'll see a lot of white guys with packs of Newports. I love yeah, that. Yeah, get glasses. Like, ha, 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 look at you. Yeah. No, it was... You were very nice. I and I still got the Reggie card. I love cards like that. That was I think it was an yeah. 80, 82 Reggie again. Oh, that's great. Yeah, something like that. And your girlfriend's beautiful. I, I couldn't figure it out. Either you got a lot of scuttle or you got a big brazo. I don't know. Uh, well, listen. Uh, how's both <laughs> nah, sound? <I> know. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know, man. She's 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 a doll, and uh, eventually she'll get the eye operation. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, John Ritchie, real fast. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, hey. I've been. <laughs> You've been doing it the whole time. Got What's up, John Ritchie? You see, you see uh, Eagles last week. They did a number on them Raiders. Yeah, I did. I did see and that. One yesterday in Lambo. The Raiders are are struggling. Yeah, the Eagles now they they have a shot at winning that NFC East. You and know? the Giants beat the Raiders. I know. They're, I know. Well, so. everyone's yeah. But now the Eagles. The Raiders. Are, what an awful division! My Listen, God. They, I I know. Yeah. Uh, but the the Eagles right now it it seems as though Nick Foles. What's he got? Sixteen touchdowns, no interception yeah. this season. <laughs> I That's think incredible. You know, That's Jeff, incredible. It is incredible. Yeah. Jeffrey Lurie came out earlier this season and said, we have to find, we have to somehow bring our franchise quarterback in here, uh, implying that they didn't have him. I don't know. Nick Foles is looking like he might be that guy. My God. What do you, well, what that, do you that, think? that TD to pass the you know, interception ratio is incredible. It but is. Yeah, again, Michael, what, what are your thoughts on this? You like him? Uh, he, yeah, he's all right. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, so you're not, you're not sold. Eagle fan. I, 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 I am a diehard. I'm here every Sunday. I'm an Eagle I know fan. you are. Based on that reaction, I know you are for sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, high they standards. They can't win at home. They can't win at home. They ain't going to win at home. They ain't going to win at home. The division's far away. ain't going nowhere anyway. <laughs> they, can't win at, they, they can't win at home. They you can't win at home. You got to give them a chance. They, they, Kelly, they may make the playoffs, and then if that happens, you never know. You know how many guys with this accent I bought pills off of? <laughs> really? Oxycontin. I got Oxycontin. <laughs> I got Oxycontin at home. You want? I, actually, I got some. Uh, I got some thirty uh, slow releases at home. At home. Um, I got yeah, some powder. Yeah. I got some softs at home. At home. Uh, yeah. All right, Michael. Thanks. Call back thanks, again. Thanks, Michael. Uh, I'll see you. Especially if you have oxy <laughs> slow relief. Uh, Jerry in New York, on the Audience Network. Jerry. Jerry, you listen to the Audience Network. Hey, Artie. I had a question for John. Go right yeah. ahead. Hey, John. Remember when you played for the Raiders? Ah. Uh, yep. What was this, the Chris Farley show? <laughs> and, uh, that, that was, was awesome. Great. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. I was a huge fan. Oh, Why cool. Always bleeding from the head. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, <it's> football? <laughs> right, exactly. I have uh, very soft skin. Uh, that's and true. It's true. Very, no, I, I always... Uh, Led with my face. You know, back then they taught you differently than they do now. Yeah. Now it's illegal. But uh, I hit with my face first. And, you know, like a boxer. He's a tough You bastard. punch him in the face enough and it cuts the skin. And that's just what happened to my head every game. And then they'd stitch it after the game and it would rip out the next game. Jerry, any thoughts on this? Well, I was going to ask him about uh, Rich Cannon, too. Yeah, I love Rich. He was the best. Why? What's that? What do you, you think about him and the uh, whole uh, the whole thing going on in Miami? 
Uh, do I, what do I think about Rich and <laughs> Richie is Incognito? He, is he involved with that, Rich Gannon? Well, he made a comment about it this week. What did he say? Uh, he said when he played for the Raiders that uh, you bled from the uh, head. Guys made <laughs> like thirty thousand uh, dollar like dinners and stuff all the time. Mm. Jared, I, I, I can tell you that I did pay for a party that I was not invited to, <laughs> just like Jonathan Martin is uh, saying he paid $15,000 for a party, never went. Uh, I, that same thing happened to me, it's and they would, they would charge you based on the round you were drafted in. It's so rookie haze. I did the yeah. same thing. Right. It happens everywhere. So right. it's common. Yes. Yeah. Happens everywhere. So Rich was telling the truth. <laughs> Jared, have you been leading with your face as well? <laughs> I read Crash and Burn today, Artie. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you getting it. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, it was great. Artie, you, you should be a writer, man. Well, he, I he am. is. He's <laughs> written two books. Can you read us some He's chapters right now? He's brilliant on Howard Stern. Thank yeah, you. You should be a writer. Thank you. Well, I, I, yeah, I've, I've written actually almost everything. I Movies, agree. TV, and a couple of books, and... Artie actually is a writer who writes. He actually writes. Yeah, I, I don't know how to type. He's one of three people out there who still does that. Me, Edgar Allan Poe, and <laughs> yeah. several Da Vinci short stories. Charles yeah. Bukowski. Charles Bukowski. Are you a Bukowski fan? I am. Yeah, thank you. absolutely. He Charles should be Bukowski. a writer, too. Right, baby. Yeah, Charles Bukowski should write. Yeah, Charles <laughs> Bukowski is an amazing poet and writer of short stories. Uh, worked for the post office in Los Angeles. A bitter mean, awful, womanizing man with bad acne who I loved. And uh, on his tombstone, it says two things. Two words. Don't try. That's all mm. it says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Jared, sounds like you're adhering to that. So um, <laughs> uh, I love you, brother. Call back. We'll talk more uh, book, uh, as I call him. Thanks, Harry. All right. Take Jared. care. Be well, buddy. Be well. Now, uh, what... Uh, what uh, do you have? Uh, you consider yourself an intellectual, Sean? You said you're not a sports guy. I'm not a sports Wait, where, guy. Did you go to college? I went to colleges. Where'd you go? <laughs> I went to That's a mishmash of colleges. You did? I, yeah. I went to. Would that make up a university? That would make up a university. <laughs> technically, I went to enough years of school to be a doctor, but I'm not. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I went to Manhattan College for a year, and then I went to Hunter in the city. And you're not a sports fan. I didn't fan. graduate, though. I'm not a sports fan. No. no. But I look like I'm a... I, you, I look yeah, you exactly do. You look like, like a sports, sports fan. fan. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, was there a I constantly for that? tell just... people I'm not a sports fan. Now, it's so funny when you meet a guy who's not a sports fan. Like, how do you... What do you do with your time? I just do comedy, and then I'll just watch movies and tons of movies. I'm a big movie guy. I love that. Yeah, yeah I, I love like movies. Too. You like old movies? I like I like old movies. I would, you know, I just watched Midnight Run. Midnight oh, Run. That's a great it, one. It's probably yeah. might be a perfect movie. Midnight Run. Oh, I love it. Best buddy movie ever, buddy. buddy yeah, it's gonna be hard to be hard to. You should check out the original In Laws with Peter Falk and uh, Oh yeah, and Alan Arkin. I see. I never saw the In Laws. I've seen crazy. a bunch of. You should watch a bunch of old movies. Not the new one. You can't. Got to stay. We got to make. Don't make that mistake. There's one with Michael. Douglas and uh, Albert Brooks. Yeah, I no. love I love both those guys, but don't it's the one you see is from 1979. Yeah, it's uh, Alan Arkin and Peter Falk, the in-laws. That's up there with Midnight Run as a buddy comedy. Yeah, they Freebie uh, and the Bean, 1974, Alan Arkin and James Caan. Freebie and the Bean. Freebie, uh, James Caan at his absolute pinnacle at his finest. I saw with Alan Arkin. What's the James Caan thief movie? Thief. thief. I saw Thief. One of the best. Thief. What's that one where he's a thief? One of the best things ever. We it, have it right we here. Have oh, do you? It's a great yeah. movie. Awesome movie. Uh, somebody covered up the soundtrack. I have the sound. I'm too lazy to get up and show it. Is it a Michael? <laughs> it's behind uh, I'll check your it out, Crash buddy. and Burn right it's there. It's literally a foot from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it a Michael Mann movie? Is that Michael Mann? No, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can see, uh, you can't get back. He's stuck was, on the carpet. Was it I worth it? it? Was what happened? That better. was so not worth it. <laughs> it's Michael Mann's first movie directed. That's, oh my okay, God! There we yeah, go. His yeah. First movie directed. Uh, James Belushi's in it. Not not John James. James Belushi's in it. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday Weld, and uh, the great James Con. It's Dennis Farina's first movie. Dennis Farina's in it, yeah, and a guy named Robert well. Robert Prosky plays the bad guy. Amazing stuff. Uh, we got to take a break. Again, November 23rd at Stand Up New York. Sean Donnelly tapes a half hour. Check it out. Back after. 
The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.